I've wanted to make this video for a while, but I've only recently just managed to get all the bits together to make it. Um, a year ago, I think about a year ago, or if not a bit longer, um, I made a video about repairing these thorn decks. Uh, it's, they're just four track tape recorders or twin track mono tape recorders. They all look very similar. They have a similar deck, which is all based around the thorn deck. Um, nice things to repair, not usually very reliable. You just have to recap them and, and they start working again. Anyway, about a year ago I noticed I was watching um, a YouTube channel, Darren Co. It was a YouTube video, and he'd done a video about some things he'd bought, some bits he'd bought, and in one of those uh, parts of the video he'd got hold of one of these um, Thorn Synchro Amp adapters. And it was when I noticed the plug on the back of the adapter, it would actually go into the auxiliary port of these tape recorders. These tape recorders are from the probably the early to the mid to late 60s. They take five and three quarter inch spools. They're usually, as I said, twin track mono or four tracks, four track mono machines. And on the four track machines, usually there's a little adapter on the back that says auxiliary, AUX, and it's a multi pinned plug. And I'd known from the service manual that what they do is when you select one of the tracks and you're playing the tape back through the tape recorder speaker, when that circuitry is doing its thing, the auxiliary has pins on the back for the free head, the unused head, which if you were to get the audio out of that unused head and at the same time as you're playing the other the first track, you'd actually get stereo out. And we'd all I'd often wondered if there'd been a machine or an adapter that they'd actually made so you could play back stereo pre recorded tapes through some kind of adapter. Well, here is the adapter and it was on that video of Darren's that I um, saw the adapter. The adapter does two things. Uh, it syncs up with a projector. Using the um, spare head you can record pulses onto the tape, onto a blank tape with your audio track on one track and the sync, the pulse is recorded for the slide projector on the other track. So basically you do a narration. You press the button on the box and every time you press the button the slide projector would change so you could rewind the tape, connect it to the slide projector, play the tape and you wouldn't have to change the slide projector over manually, it would be completely automatic with your own music or narration over the top. But also they gave you a stereo out socket on a DIN connector. So that was the bit I was interested in because lots of the radiograms I have from the 60s their tape recorder compartments, if they actually have them, are very small, as though they're only designed for either a mono machine or a four track mono machine. Um, it seems as though they'd never intended them to have any machine that took a seven inch spools because they would be too wide, as you can see on the shelf on this, this barely fits. This is a very compact machine. And they have stereo sockets, often the sockets that you could, would connect something to is in stereo. So um, most stereo tape recorders just won't fit in them, which is a bit annoying. Normally though, people around this time, mostly, if you were lucky to have a tape recorder, and if you did, it would probably be a mono tape recorder. Simply because of the expense. Um, stereo tape recorders had extra circuitry in them for the extra channel, and they put the prices up accordingly. So. I suppose once they thought you'd gone to the expense of buying a radiogram, you didn't have a lot, a lot, o lot left over money to buy a stereo tape recorder. So it doesn't seem as though they really intended for stereo tape recorders to really be fitted in the cabinet, but they do give you the option to plug the stereo into the socket. So perhaps they intended you to use the tape recorder out of the cabinet. I don't know. Anyhow, of all the mono pre-recorded tapes. Uh, these are the these are the mono ones. I've I've got about um, 160 of these that I've collected over the years, and I've also got now 12 of the stereo four-track tapes. But of course, you need a four-track stereo four-track tape recorder to play them. And getting one to fit in this cabinet, I do have a small Grundig one. But I'd want more because I've got a few more radiograms that have equally a small compartment. 
Anyway, after seeing uh, Darren's video, I thought I would try and locate one. So I went on to the UK Vintage Radio Forum, and a chap um, responded to my message about had anyone got the circuit diagram, because I was going to build one, or I could build one. And um, he got back to me and said he actually had a spare one. So thank you very much, David, for um, selling me your spare one of these in its box, which I've now connected to this tape recorder via the auxiliary socket. And you've got several options on here that are to do with the slide projector. At the back there's a DIN socket for stereo out, and you press a button here for the three and three quarter of quarter inches emphasis. So hopefully when I press this now, the amplifier in the tape recorder does the left hand channel and the transistor amplifier in the amp in the little accessory little adapter will do the right hand channel and you have a gain control which is a little volume control down here and the volume control on here works you basically try to get them equal and then you can just use your stereo balance on the radiogram to um, even out any inconsistencies of the channel balance what it means is you can now get I can now play these 12 pre-recorded tapes through this tape recorder which will now fit in this radiogram and I can listen to them in stereo um, you can sort of switch the amplifier off by just pressing another playback button on the side and that mutes the right hand channel so when you're playing a mono tape you press mono on the radiogram and you'll get through both speakers you'll just get the mono for if you were playing back these uh, mono tapes so um, it works brilliantly for the application I want to use it for. It fits nice and neatly in this radiogram cabinet. I can play stereo back if I want to, and I can play mono tapes back as well. The only thing you can't do is record in stereo onto this tape recorder. And I think mainly the reason being is if you had to put the recording circuitry in the little accessory box, you'd then have to have or you know have to have a level control. And I think the whole thing would become so complicated for somebody to operate that you may as well just go out and buy yourself a stereo tape recorder. So I don't think they'd ever intended this adapter uh, or, or ever had any idea that they were going to make it work with recording in stereo. But you could buy, as I said, these pre-recorded stereo tapes and had these have been a bigger success then the amplifiers, the separate little amplifier boxes, perhaps would be a little bit more popular. There'd be many more about. Um, so I think that's the sort of the story of what happened here is they obviously designed the tape recorder to have this accessory at a later date. The access, the the adapter is a later product because it's all transistorized, whereas the amplifier in the tape recorder is obviously valve. But it was nice that they had the foresight when they were designing these little tape recorders with the auxiliary socket that it would be handy to be able to get the information recorded off the um, second free head when you're listening to it you know, as a four-track tape recorder. So I can play a little bit of the music so you can hopefully hear that it's outputting in stereo for the first time. And um, I can't play too much of the music because every time I upload some material from any of these 12 tapes the video gets blocked completely so hopefully I'll let it run for a little bit and then I'll stop the tape so it doesn't get uh, blocked but I just thought I'd share the the story of this little um, thorn adapter here and we can actually see it in action working in stereo so uh, a big thanks to uh, Darren who uh, made the video and brought my attention to the fact that the adapter actually existed and I shall give um, put links in the description to the Vintage UK Radio Forum where it's a good place to get information from and I'll put a link into uh, Darren's website uh, YouTube channel rather uh, because there's some interesting videos on there and I say that's where I came to know of the adapter in the first place so let's see if we can get some stereo out
Hopefully that record that affects the left channel. And then this one will do the right. Which I don't know if it comes through on the video. But there you are, that's uh, stereo that coming out through this um, adapter. I obviously changed the capacitors in that because they were pretty old dead electrolytics. So um, all in all I'm very pleased and I can now use this tape recorder in this radiogram cabinet because it's now all compact enough to fit in and I can play the stereo tapes back and play the mono tapes back and it all fits rather neatly on the little shelf. So I thought I would share that um, demonstration with you.